The performance and development area allows you to set up and manage your performance review cycles and training in one place. Before you can create a performance review cycle, you'll need to set up the feedback form templates that it uses in Settings, Performance, Form Templates. You can configure these however you like with binary questions, open text fields, traffic lights and scales. Depending on the type of answer, you can select whether evaluators can comment on the option they chose and whether the question is mandatory or not. Let's look at how to set up a performance review cycle. In the Performance and Development area here, click on Cycles and then Start a Review Cycle. Give the review cycle an appropriate name and description. You can then choose which participants to add to it. You can add all employees or just select a few from the list if you have a few specific people in mind. Otherwise, you can select them based on department, office, start date and so on. Click View All to see who you've selected and click on the X to remove one group or clear all to remove all groups. You can then select which review types to include. A manager review lets supervisors provide performance reviews for their direct reports, if they're part of the review cycle. A self-review allows employees and supervisors to complete an evaluation of their own work performance and goals. A peer review lets employees provide feedback on their colleagues. An upward review allows those who report to a supervisor to provide feedback on them. Next, select the forms which the reviewers will use for each of the review types. If you wish, you can then set due dates for each review type. Set how many days, months or weeks after launch the review is due. You'll then see a preview of the performance review cycle. Choose Save and Close to save a draft without launching it. Once you click Launch Review Cycle, the review cycle is launched and you can no longer edit or delete it. As an administrator, you can set up and manage training courses consisting of one or more training sessions and add employees to the sessions via the Training tab. To set up a training course, click on Add a new training course and give the course a name and description. You can then add sessions to the training course by clicking on Add Session. You can select a name, date and time for the training session and add a description for it. Once you've added a training session, you can add employees to it. You can then track their attendance at the session via the Training tab. You can also add and remove participants from sessions as you need to. So as you can see, the Performance and Development area makes it much easier to manage 360-degree feedback and employee training administration tasks. It can save you time and help to keep things on track.